Hi, I'm George Broyles. We're out in central Idaho with our incident management team on a wildland fire. Fighting fires in the wildland is very, very dangerous and we're well aware of those dangers. However, we also know that there's a lot of health effects associated with this work and those we're not quite sure about. Firefighters and researchers alike are concerned about what the health effects are from these exposures, be it smoke, noise, the physical exertion, or the heat. And so in a new approach, researchers and firefighters have come together on a wildland fire to try to better understand what the consequences are. Well, it's dark here, early morning, but it's breakfast time at fire camp. But for these members of the elite sawtooth hotshot crew, no bacon, no eggs, until after they drop off samples, weigh in, and sit down and blow into some tubes. These men and women are firefighters giving up some of their time in the name of health research. It's being done at a makeshift lab set up at the base camp of an active Idaho wildfire. My name is Kenneth Fent. I'm a research industrial hygienist at NIOSH, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. And we're here to do a research study on wildland firefighters. We're calling it the Wildland Firefighter Health Effects Study. This is, you know, a little bit more um, of an austere work environment than what we're accustomed to. We're camping out here. We've been out here for uh, five days. It's been a, a bit uncomfortable, but uh, that's what wildland firefighters do. So we want to be where they are. The person behind this is Corey Butler, my colleague at NIOSH. Um, and, you know, she wanted to uh, do a study on wildland firefighters because she herself was once a wildland firefighter um, on a hotshot crew. So she's very passionate about their health and safety. So the wildland firefighters come in first thing in the morning, um, as well as in the evening when they're done fighting the fires. We get a weight on them. A lot of the tests require a weight um, measurement, as well as we want to look at any water loss that they've had throughout their work shift. We give them urine cups. We're collecting urine for some of the uh, clinical research measures, but also looking at some of the biomarkers of exposure. They go into another tent and they get a blood dr drawn. For the hearing test, we're using minivans, which is you know a bit unusual. Typically, we use audiometric booths that are soundproof, uh, but it was difficult to get those out to this remote location. Um, so we've adapted, we over overcame that, that hurdle. We're doing this study because, you know, one, we, we care about workers and we care about firefighters in particular. Uh, and, you know, we want to better understand what the effects are on the heart and on the lungs and on the kidneys, uh, on the hearing. You know, so we, we want to better understand how wildland firefighting is affecting the, you know, totality of the firefighters' health. We guess a lot and and think that we, we may know that something's affecting our, our bodies poorly. Um, and we just see that as, as you go on through the season, you know, you come into the season, you're really fit, you're in shape. And then pretty quickly, you know, it, it changes a little bit. You're losing a lot of weight, a lot of muscle mass. Um, you eat a lot of smoke as we're out there on the line, even from mop up to uh, direct to just holding the line during uh, burnout operations, whatever it is. But uh, so it's kind of curious what what's actually happening to our bodies um, on the scientific side rather than just guessing at it all the time. The researchers also carefully place sensing equipment on each of the hotshots gear packs. That way scientists get samples of the same air the crew members breathe while out on the fire line. All this up close and personal data gathering has made a larger team atmosphere involving both the firefighters and the research technicians. These men and women working together to perhaps one day improve the health of firefighters everywhere. Uh, yeah, coming in, we're getting stuck. Um, we're giving urine samples, uh, checking our weights. Um, and it's a little bit more intrusive than just a typical exam, but it's awesome. Um, we're fully into it. We know we're getting good data that's going to help us out years down the road. You know, once we do get all these results back, we analyze the data and we publish the results, we want to make sure that our findings get back to the firefighters, get back to the Forest Service, where you know decision makers can take that data and they can they can do something positive with it and try to make a difference in the lives of firefighters. This is the second year of a multi-year study in which we are following six crews. We also test these crews before each season and at the end of each. It's a tremendous amount of work for the researchers and the firefighters themselves. 
People often ask me why I do this work, and the answer is simple. These men and women are not just co-workers to me, many are friends, and each is a sister and brother. And it's crucial that we have a good understanding of the health risks associated with the great work that they do, so that we can find better ways to protect their health and the health of every firefighter that follows in their footsteps.